Now to decision 2024. The election for District 10 seat in the state house is just two days away. We talked with both candidates to find out what issues are most important to them. WA right here in the studio. Daquan, the stakes are high for this special election as voters get ready to choose their next representative. Well, Nolan, the district has had an empty seat since David Cole stepped down and pled guilty to voter fraud last year. And it's been nearly 10 months that voters haven't had their voice heard, and each candidate believes they should be the one to represent them. The race for House District 10 has entered its final chapter, and WAFF got an opportunity to speak with both Teddy Powell and Larry Lands about their journey along the campaign trail. Their primary messages to voters are different, but they each told us what surprised them the most during their run for the suburban seats. The thing that stood out to me is voter fatigue. People are not really voter fatigue, but more political fatigue. People are tired of politics. They're tired of politics as usual. We don't want that. What we want to do is we want to see things done. We want to make sure that uh, the things that we are trying to do get done. Powell says he's made light of politics as usual in his ads as a way to let voters know he's more focused on dealing with the key issues of infrastructure, education, and economic growth. Lanz's campaign has focused on women's reproductive rights, with ads highlighting women's struggles to find suitable reproductive care. One of the most surprising things to me is, since I shared my story publicly, how many other women and men even families have shared with me their own stories. Some similar to mine, but some with miscarriages, some with ectopic pregnancies, uh, others with fertility issues. And so the dialogue is very different because it's very personal, uh, a lot of emotion, a lot of grief there. We asked both candidates what they thought was the biggest advantage over their opponent. Lands pointed to her familiarity with the district, having lived here her whole life. I think my mental health background is a real plus. I also have a background in business and industry prior to that, but we don't have anybody down in Montgomery who really understands mental health issues, and I want to come down and be a champion for that. Powell pointed to the Republican supermajority in the House as a way to actually getting things done. There's 75 Republicans and 20 some odd Democrats. Uh, with that majority to get things done, it's easier for me to get things done and she may not even get things out of her caucus. One of the issues she's running on is the, is the abortion issue. It's hard for me to believe that she is better than some of the Democrats that are already there. Some that have been there for years and, and do a really good job that she's going to go down and change that uh, more so than they will. Now, the special election will take place this coming Tuesday. The polls will open at 7 a.m. and close at 7 p.m.